Hello everyone, today we are going to look at systematic listing and this is from P4 Maths Heuristics. Okay, question 1. Okay, first, let's read the question. When Amy arranges the chairs in the classroom in rows of 5, there is a remainder of 3 chairs. If she arranges the chairs in rows of 7, there are no extra chairs left. If the number of chairs in the classroom is between 50 and 80, how many chairs are there in the classroom? Okay, next, let's underline the keywords or phrases from this question. So the first key phrase will be, She, Amy, is arranging the chairs in rows of 5. And when she does that, there is a remainder of 3 chairs. Next, if she arranges the chairs instead of rows of 5, it's rows of 7. There will not be any extra chairs left. That means there is no remainder. And next, we know that the number of chairs in the classroom is between 50 and 80. So, we need to find how many exactly the number of chairs are there in the classroom. Okay, next, let's draw a table. And this table, we have a heading of the number of rows. So, let's say if there's one row of 5, that's why the next row from this table will be with one row of five maybe one times five will be equal to five there will be five chairs and because there is a remainder of three chairs so we got to plus three in order to find the total so if there is one row of five there will be five plus three will be eight next we add on what if there's two rows of five two rows of five will be ten chairs plus three will be equals to 13 chairs in total. What if 3 rows of 5 will be total of 18 chairs? So we follow this and we continue till there are 10 rows. 10 rows of 5 will be 50 plus 3. The middle of 3 chairs will be 53. Alright, but from the last sentence of this word problem, we know that the number of chairs has to be between 50 and 80. The total has to be 50, between 50 and 80. So, we can take away this part from number of rows from 1 to 9. We can remove this because the total from row 1 to row 9 is only from 8 to 48. It's less than 50. Only when there are 10 rows or 5, the total will be 53 which is between 50 and 80. So we've got to take away this part and we will need to start from 10 rows of 5. So if 10 rows of 5, the total will be 53. So we continue with 11 rows up to 16 rows. Why do we stop at 16 rows of 5? Because from the 16 rows of 5, the total is 83 and this is more than the range that is given, 50 to 80. So we take away the 16 rows and we have either 10 rows, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So next, we got to check with the next, the second condition. If she arranges the chairs in rows of 7, there are no extra chairs left. That means there's no remainder. What does it mean? It means when we divide the total here, from this row, 53, 58, 63, 68, 73, and 78, we should not have any remainder then it will match. The first condition will match with the second condition. So, 53 divided by 7, we will get a remainder. So, there shouldn't be 10 rows of 5. So, this uh, column is out. Okay, we cannot accept the total number to be 53 chairs. What about if there are 58 chairs? Yes, there will be remainder. If divided by 7, remainder 63. There will not be any remainder when we divide it by 7. So this is a possible answer. Let's check with the rest. 68, 73 and 78. All you will get a remainder if you divide it by 7. So the answer will be the total number of chairs in the classroom will be equals to 63. And that will be the answer for this question. Alright, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.